Greetings gastronauts, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm gonna to do something quite simple, quite basic, and quite delicious. I'm going to make Spam potato and green chili fritters and some pineapple relish. Before we do that, a couple of shout outs, one to Ralph Rowlands, who made a nice donation by PayPal recently. Thank you, I appreciate that. And also to my new Patreon super fan, Azalea. Hi, thank you and welcome. I uh, noticed you've been binge watching everything, so that's good. You've probably only got about 550 vids left to watch. <laughs> so I think last year I had a request from K9 who wanted me to have a go at making spam from scratch. I think I declined at that time because I just have no clue how you do it. Well, I, I mean, you would have to deconstruct a few tons of pork and mess about with it and then reconstruct it. So we settled on the idea that I'd do something using Spam, so finally got round to it. I'm going to make the pineapple relish first and that'll contain a couple of slices of charred pineapple which we'll chop into little bits, uh, a couple of bits of jalapeno pepper, uh, an actual red chilli for colour, a small heap of coriander, some lemon juice, some ginger and some honey and some salt and pepper. So I need to hack this into slices and then burn it. Okay, so all we need to do is get a sharp knife. Cut the bottom off. And the top. And then I want a couple of slices, about a centimetre, about just under half an inch. Then cut the crunchy stuff off the sides. And we'll leave it like that. We'll, we'll deal with the inedible inner core after we've scorched it. So I've got the griddle plate with the raised lines upwards so that we get some lines on the pineapple. And we just heat that hot and plop the pineapple on. Leave it alone for about five minutes each side, probably. till it's nice and charred. And we're not talking about a horrible green vegetable here. We're talking about burnt pineapple. So turn the pineapple about every minute or so. We're not looking for perfect parallel lines. We're just looking for charring all over. Now peel and finely chop the onion. And I think the pineapple's done now. So we'll cut it up a bit. Mmm. Right, squeeze of lemon juice, a teaspoon of cheats ginger. You can put garlic in as well if you want. Actually, you can put anything in it you want. And some honey, a bit of salt, pepper. Now we've got to taste it. Check the balance. <laughs> well, I've got a little bit of chilli in that and it's really killing me. <laughs> it's my face going red. <laughs> Let's do meat. So it's got a ring pull and it's got instructions. But apparently what you do is pull that up that way and then pull it across that way. But you knew that anyway. And then it's also got instructions on how to get the meat out. Squeeze it. Ah. Tap and squeeze. <laughs> yeah, that was easy. Ingredients for the spam potato and chili fritters, which are not to be conflu confused. Do not confuse this with the, uh, what I think are the more traditional Spam fritters, which is just slices of Spam coated in batter and deep fried. And, and those are very wonderful. I've done those previously in a very old video. Um, these are more like rissoles. So what you need is, well, actually half a can of Spam, about 500 grams of potatoes, one egg, uh, salt, white pepper, about a tablespoon of chopped fresh coriander, two green, well, bird's eye chilies, those, damn hot, and some bits of spring onion. 
I would have used the green ends, but they've gone a bit manky. So no. Right, we need to chop things up. So we need to peel the potatoes and cut them into small chunks. And the smaller they are, the quicker they will cook. I've got a pan with some water in it and just add a pinch of salt to that and then put the tatties in. Put that on the stove, bring it to the boil and let it simmer for about 10-15 minutes until the potatoes are tender. Now we cut the spring onions into little slices and de-seed the chilies and chop those finely as well. Now we need to cut the spam into little cubes. And by the way, th this is a big tin, 340 grams, and I'm only using half of it. You can buy smaller cans of spam. Slice it that way. And then this way. Right, the spuds are cut, so I've drained them. I'll just let them steam dry for a few minutes. Now we mash it all together. Add the spam, the chopped coriander, the spring onions, salt, pepper, and egg. And mash it. Mash it good. Right, that's uh, fairly well mixed. So now we need to divide it into about six equal pieces and form them into little patties. Kind of like that. So actually eight little patties and they're about 75 grams each. All we need to do now is fry them. But actually I'm going to try a little experiment. I'm going to air fry four of them and shallow fry the others in actual oil. See what difference it makes. I'll heat the air fryer oven to 180 degrees Celsius and they'll probably want 10 minutes each side, but we'll see. Now add some oil to a frying pan, heat it on medium heat, and then add the fritters. When they're browned on one side, turn them over. And when they're done, remove them from the pan and drain on kitchen paper. Okay, here's the ones that I fried. Uh, actually, only a couple of minutes each side, not, not four. They would have been blackened. And uh, I'm very happy with those. The air fryer ones are a different story. Pale and interesting. <laughs> They've actually had 15 minutes on one side only. I'm giving up on that. I'm just going to finish them off in the frying pan. They will be perfectly edible. They just don't look very inspiring. Okay then, taste test time with me. All right, this side are the fried ones. These ones are the air fryer finished off in the frying pan. So, and I think actually not needed on voyage. This is finger food. So. Here we go. Hmm. A bit too salty, my fault. They're quite bland actually, I can't taste the chilli at all. It actually tastes like fried corned beef hash, which, you know, is what corned beef hash is. I know I'm not making sense, I'm too hungry. Okay, we'll try the air fryer one. Pretty much the same, but I think the um, the air fryer one is firmer. Uh, these these are actually quite fragile. <laughs> Try some pineapple relish. Whoa! Now oh, that is tasty and pineapple-y and chili e. That has got some. That's got some bite. I call that a success. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it and see you next time.